Go kid. <laughs> but yeah, what I'm seeing for you is, um, yeah, they, they, whoever these people are that are approaching you, they can't light a ta- they can't light a candle next to somebody who's making you feel in your. It's a lovely thing when you can be in your feminine energy, where you don't feel like you have to be chasing people all the time. Because for a man wanting a woman to chase them, they definitely they are in their feminine energy. We all got both in us, of course. We both both got all of it in us. We have that balance, you know. We have the feminine and the masculine. But sometimes when these men are in their mas- their feminine energy, want you to chase them, chase them like you're a damn woman, like you're the man. I'm not. I don't agree. Do you know what? Upon the time, I would have done it. I would have been blowing up somebody's phone, left, right, and centre, and I'm never do it again. Never. You tell me to call you, I'll call you, okay? And if you don't respond to it, oh, well, it's your loss, not mine. Because I'm sitting on my throne and I'm not letting that crown tilt. In fact, my arms is on the throne. My hand don't join church. <laughs> my hand don't join church at all. And only Jamaicans would understand that one. Me and not join church. My hand is staying right there because I attract, I do not chase. Big up yourself, collective. <laughs> <laughs> only West Indians would understand that one. Because uh, when I say your hand don't join church, meaning I'm not picking up straw when it comes to that kind of scenario where men want you to chase them and that means they're in their feminine energy because a man should be chasing a woman not the other way around and i refuse i had to learn the hard way i refuse if you tell me to for example if you tell me to call you and i call you and you are not responding okay oh well that's your loss because i'm not picking up the phone again you tell me to call you and i called you that's it done argument and if you don't want to respond or you don't want to answer, or you're going to pretend all them and play silly games. I'm not into the games. I'm too old for it. I'm too old for the games. You know what I mean? If you, don't, if you want to go down that road, I'm not, I'm not doing it. You can sit there all day and play games. You're playing games with yourself. <laughs> Big up yourself, collective, because that's deep. <laughs> oh, yeah. He's not afraid to tell us. Sh- yeah. He's not afraid. That's exactly right. Do you know, we're on this on this earthly plane for a human experience okay it's not about the flesh it's about the soul at the end of the day and um if somebody can balance out your energy to the point where you can be in your feminine energy and they can actually have the balance the masculine and the feminine enough to know how to make you feel and how to balance out your energy that ain't nothing you can't accomplish to get let me tell you something that is a that is a um a duo that you know you can't be once you both get out of to certain things that you're doing and you come together properly that's like a power couple situation because any problems you have you can talk about it and they're not going to get oversensitive about it and you're not going to get oversensitive about it you just hash it out and that's how it should be yes it's never going to be perfect it's never going to be perfect but at least you know you where you stand with certain people's rather than these damn man in there are playing their they're men boys they're men boys playing as a feminine do you know, because I'm getting these stories these lately that these men want to have the same have the same treatment as a woman. You're not a woman, so why would you want the same treatment as a woman? I don't understand it. <laughs> I don't understand. Women are meant to be showered and um, showered with love and affection. They are there as an... Uh, you know some some people would say in some quarters that they're there as an aid okay but it's they're there as a partnership as an aid okay for that man to thrive he needs a good woman behind him yeah they can accomplish these things by themselves but for a man to really thrive you need a good woman behind you and in order to have a good woman behind you that woman has to feel secure in that love that that man is providing and if he is not if he's making her feel insecure do you know she's never gonna be in her feminine energy she's never gonna be in her feminine if if you've got some woman chasing you you feel you should feel stupid now if you've got some woman you know you want that woman but you've got her chasing you that's your insecurities because that's you being stupid that's your insecurities. I could keep going, people, but I'm not going to. Because, <laughs> oh, big up yourself. No longer. Ah, oh, what's going on? No longer active. Join for a. No longer active. 
joined for a lie. Like, what? I don't know what that means. He's not afraid to... Sh yeah, exactly. So I'm going to shout up about that now, but I'm not sure what's going on with there. I'm not going no longer... Um, what's going on there? I don't understand. What's going on there? I don't know. Anyway... Anyway, what's going on, people? What's going on? Uh, big up yourself, people. I'm still here. Yes, big up yourself, girlfriend. So I hope that made sense to you. But I, you know I could go, what I call rants. But they're not. They're downloads. It's like somebody needed to hear that. Even if I am in subscription mode only. <laughs> Maddie, you're back. Big up yourself, girlfriend. I've still got the card sitting here waiting for you. Do you know these bloody idiots? Maddie, these bloody idiots. <laughs> yes. Do you know what it is? All right. It infuriates me when people do that with tarot as well, because all it is is people expressing art. And the person that created the Ride Away, the illustrator of these cards, actually died penniless, made nothing from this. Mr. Waite took full advantage. The person that illustrated these cards is actually died in an unmarked grave, penniless. So when people do things like that, okay, just as an example, say, that they want to call this explicit, right? What are they talking about? Do some research. Do your due diligence before you start disturbing people's lives because there was nothing graphic about these cards. Do you know what I mean? More like I can trap viewers, keep it. Thank you so much. We can be saying, yeah, it makes a lot of sense. Thank you. That's good. Girl, you're telling me. <laughs> Big up yourself. I've got you cotched on the, the side of a refrigerator, so please forgive me if I keep adjusting you. I'm trying to get the right light in. But yeah, I'm scratching now because I've got mosquito bites. Ah! And I need to have a shower <laughs> because I've got salt water on me. But I just thought I'd come back because um, I hate leaving things unfinished. I hate um, not coming to a conclusion. Anybody that's done a personal reading with me will know. I hate leaving things unfinished. So I will keep going until it's done. Yes, it makes sense. Big up yourself, girlfriend. Big up yourself. So as I was saying, Maddie, <laughs> moving back to Maddie now, I remember you asking me 